a grateful person changes the existence around them. So if you don't do anything else, bring a prayer of gratitude into your life. There are two qualities that are capable of making life while living and on, on this earth into heaven. Those two qualities are gratitude and the second one is humility. Gratitude eventually sprouts in a person that has freed themselves from ego. Egoful person is usually entitled, a little bit arrogant, but he who has freed themselves from ego, he who have become a little bit spiritual, eventually recognizes the sheer improbability of their existence. Nobody said that they should be given life. They are grateful that they were given life. This moment alone, I have this breath. This breath is filled with gratitude. I'm grateful that I have this breath. I'm grateful that I'm sitting here. I'm grateful to the sofa. The sheer improbability of our existence has to be understood. We are just little specks on this planet Earth. And then planet Earth is just a very small, simple blue dot whirling around a burning ball of fire. In a galaxy, we are not even in the middle of the galaxy, we are in the, in the backwaters of Milky Way galaxy. And then our galaxy is smaller than small. It's just amazing how small we are. Yet we are alive, and yet we are pondering the existence of ourselves. And what are we doing here, and who are we? A grateful person gets filled with joy when he walks. The trees know that this is a grateful soul. The flowers know, the weeds know that there is gratitude in that person's heart. Gratitude in your heart and, your, and in your eyes have the ability to change the existence around you. It becomes energized, alive. It is no longer a thing to be used. It is integral part of you. That's what gratitude can do. Highest gift that anybody can ask for themselves towards the end of their life is as they climb the last hill and they're going off into the sunset of their life and that's the last sun setting and they're saying goodbye and they turn around and they look back at their life only tears of gratitude only tears of joy even for people who hurt them even for people who maybe even abused them, people who did not treat them right. Gratitude, gratitude, resonating in gratitude. Oh, I'm so grateful that I came and I saw, and I'm grateful even to be leaving now. I had a wonderful journey. I was given experience. I. Uh, beyond my expectations, beyond forget expectations, beyond my thoughts. A grateful person changes the existence around them. So if you don't do anything else, bring a prayer of gratitude into your life. Every morning, every evening, I say a prayer of gratitude. I thank every person that came into my life every person even at a restaurant the waiter to people who work with me for people i work around etc i say a prayer of gratitude 
I say a prayer of gratitude to these eyes that were a gift from God and that what they saw, what these ears heard, what this tongue tasted and what this mouth ate. I'm grateful for every morsel of food. This gratitude changes how you walk on this Mother Earth. You walk on this Earth lightly. Humility is related, but very close. When a tree matures and it is filled with fruit, all the fruit trees bow. They become lower to the ground because the fruit makes them heavy. Similarly, a person when they become wise and they are strong within, they become humble. If they're not humble, then they are not truly wise yet. Jesus Christ said, meek shall inherit the earth. Meek, today translated, means humble. May humility and gratitude be your constant companions.